Hey everyone, this is actually my third time trying to record this. I've received literally three phone calls since I tried to do this. So anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about a situation that I saw the other day on uh, the news concerning the death of uh, Kobe Bryant. We understand it was a tragic death and um, while the news outlets were trying to cope with his death and trying to memorialize his death, uh, I saw something on CNN by on the Wolf Blitzer show uh, that really kind of bothered me. This is Sunday in the Wolf Blitzer show. So Wolf Blitzer has is doing a show and he brings on another commentator, or another interviewer, and that interviewer was talking about the time he had just interviewed Kobe Bryant uh, about a week before Kobe's tragic death. So they play a little bit of the snippet of the of the interview in which Kobe Bryant is on. And the interview is going fairly well, asking about you know, life after sports and all that kind of stuff. But it was at the end of this particular video uh, that really that I had really had a problem. And the, and the interviewer asked Kobe, what do you think about racism in Europe, in European sports, so football, a.k.a. soccer? So Kobe gives a fairly good answer, you know, talks about education and all this kind of stuff and all that. But I was really offended at the question. Um, to ask the victim of any particular group why they are being victimized and what they think about their victimization, to me, is really very silly. And I think that it's time that we grow up as a society and understand that it's time for that kind of nonsense to stop. Asking black people what you think about racism, uh, to me, is really analogous to asking sexual assault victims what they think about sexual assault. Who, that we need to ask the people who are perpetrating this kind of stuff, hey, why are you throwing bananas on the field during a soccer game or in an NHL game, right? It's not just a European problem, right? Uh, so why are they doing these kind of things? Ask the fans in the stands, the white fans in the stands, what they think about this kind of stuff. Ask the NF NFL owners why they don't hire enough black coaches. Ask those people, right, the people who are perpetrating it or who are who are on the sidelines as to why they are seeing these types of things or allowing these type, types of things to happen and what they should do about it. What does one white person asking another white person think that they should do about this particular problem? Hey, how do we solve this problem? How do we solve this issue? How do we stop being racist in our sports and our politics and our schools and our law enforcement in our in industrial industries and in our engineering industries? How do we stop this racism problem? Stop asking the victims of those particular incidents to, to come up with the clues and solutions and what they think about it. We all know what we think about it. I mean, that's a silly question. What do you think about it? And what should we do about it? Kobe gave a great answer, education, but um, you you got to ask them about what we, what they do about it, what they think about it. African Americans, Latin people, Muslims, uh, Native American people uh, did not start this problem, and we're not going to end this problem. We're not, we we can give suggestions, sure, but ask other people who have started this problem or who are perpetuating this problem or who are uh, uh, endorsing this problem what they we should, we should do about it. And Yeah, I know what I'm saying, endorsing the problem, right? Why are you like this? Why are you thinking this way? Why are you doing this way, these things? So that, that question that the interviewer asked really bothered me. The fact that uh, they would play this particular clip during the Wolf Blitzer show and trying to show about the last time, you know, Kobe's life, celebrating his Kobe's life in essence, uh, that, that to me was, this, was the bigger problem, bigger issue. So I, I really wanted to chime in about that. And I think that Martin Luther King's uh, legacy, uh, which we just celebrated his, his birth, obviously, uh, the other day, I think that that really says it, right? Because he said essentially that in the end, we're not going to remember uh, all the bluster of all these other people, but we will remember the silence of our friends. So it's it's time that, that the people who are perpetuating this problem or who are part of the dominant group really get together and understand what other, other people are talking about. Sexual assault victims should not be asked, what do you think about sexual assault? Other people who are victims of a certain ideology should not be asked, what do you think about that? Ask the people who are part of that group how we solve these problems. We need to hear from our friends in these matters. Stop asking us and start and start jumping in and start chiming in. So I just wanted to jump in for a minute about that um, and uh, just talk about that. It really bothered me since I heard it on Sunday. Uh, it's uh, just a few days later, so I thought it was inappropriate to post at that time. But just let me know what you think, and make sure you check out Captain Hunter's podcast. Much love and peace. Okay.